Some alleged price tags of the Galaxy S10 have emerged and they are kind of crazy. Vivo just launched their own dual display smartphone to keep avoiding bezels, and it looks like Apple isn't doing as bad as in sales as we assumed. I'm Jaime Rivera, and isn't it funny when people complain about uh, me being apologetic about bad audio? This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for a new MacBook, $400 off on Amazon's Woot is uh, what we currently get. Uh, we're talking about 820 bucks for the 256 gig model. And uh, sure, it's not necessarily a new product and you're only getting three months of warranty, but that's really a crazy price tag. Now let's talk about Apple suppliers. Uh, the news from analysts for the last couple of months have been that uh, Apple hasn't been selling well when it comes to iPhone XRs and iPhone XSs, but according to their suppliers, TSMC and also Foxconn, their sales are up. So speculation now arises that it could be that iPhones are actually selling well, but we will never know because Apple's not providing any numbers anymore, right? Now let's talk about Vivo's next smartphone pun intended, as, uh, well, that's the name of their new phone that now has dual displays. In the past, the Vivo Next was pretty much the first smartphone with a motorized camera, and I do have the unit. I just, that review was interesting because it's probably one of the largest phones I've seen yet in that category. And still, what they've done now is instead of giving us that motorized design, now you have a display at the back for you to be able to use the same primary camera for selfies. And to be honest with you, with how bad selfie photos are today, I prefer this solution, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so yeah, December 27th at 725 bucks in China. Uh, let's hope it doesn't just sell in China. Now let's talk about OnePlus as the company CEO was recently in an interview to reveal two very interesting things. Number one, the company's sales are up 249% after OnePlus and T-Mobile partnered. It seems that the OnePlus 6T is doing far better than the company expected, one. And number two, it seems that one of the projects that the company is working on is a smaller smartphone, which would be great. But according to Pete, it will have a lot to do with being able to fit a good enough battery and a smaller form factor. So uh, go for it, Pete. I mean, we do need something like that. And finally, the hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S10 because now we've got price tags and possible launch dates. Set your calendars. Probable pre-sales will begin on February 20th. L launch will be March 12th, somewhere around there. And it seems the price tags, okay, if you get the small variant, which people are calling the light one, I'm not going to call it that. Uh, the small variant is apparently going to be 850 bucks, but it'll start at 128 gigs of storage. Then we've got two other models, one of them being $1,000, and then the other one apparently $1,250. And we even hear that there will be a variant that's gonna have one terabyte of storage, and that one's gonna be like $1,700. Let us know in the comments down below. I mean, what do you think? Samsung is not doing great when it comes to sales. Think it's smart for them to play that card, because. I think that Samsung should realize that they make great products, but there's no need for everybody to follow Apple on these price tags. I mean, OnePlus is proving that you can totally go for volume and, you know, be successful. Uh, leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think. And folks, before we end this video, we would like to thank our sponsor, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, for making today's content possible. Huawei's Thinking Lens tuned by Leica includes three amazing sensors, a whopping 40 megapixel wide, a 20 megapixel ultra wide, and an eight megapixel telephoto, literally the most versatile smartphone camera in the market. Presented in the coolest matrix design we've seen yet. But that's just part of the story. The photos are amazing. Follow the link in the description to learn more about what makes the Huawei Mate 20 Pro so cool. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.